welcome back again today's video is about my trip so we just came back from philippines and i'm gonna share with you guys the tips that i did before traveling and the things that i learned during my travel and for those who don't know me yet i am shari i was diagnosed of igan that's a kidney disease uh, i was diagnosed for already four years uh, my doctor told me that this kind of illness doesn't really show symptoms until the late stage but luckily for me they were able to diagnose a little bit early and unlike other people they were diagnosed at the end stage and they end up going through dialysis so that's that's really really sad and for me i had four years to learn about the disease um accept it and maybe prepare for the future treatment that i might need so i'm very grateful for that four years okay so let's go to the travel tips so before traveling here's the things i did five yeah five maybe okay so here are the tips that i learned so first um I talked to my doctor about it because she knows everything that I she knows everything about my health and she knows my restrictions she knows the things that I can do so I told her about my trip the kind of trip that I'm gonna have and then she gave me some advice and also gave me flu injection and flu vaccine I should say flu vaccine and pneumonia vaccine because in our situation our our immune systems are very bad and you know we can have infection anytime it's easily for us to have infection and once we have that it can risk our life and also you know um, lower the function of our kidneys so that's really really dangerous so I had that and second she also gave me a note just in case the immigration asks for like letters why I'm carrying all the medications that I needed because I'm also taking my erythropoietin injection so she gave me that and she also advised, advised me to get a travel insurance because in our case um, we don't really know what our abilities because what I mean is like um, some days we are feeling really really good and then the following day out of nowhere we are feeling very bad so in case something happened like or like in case i am not feeling good during that travel then i can always you know change the flight without paying too much so she advises me to get travel insurance so that's the first thing that i i did and second i tried to get all the things that I needed like the medication I tried to make sure that I have everything with that I needed in that vacation or I get even more and also I, I get some extra things that I might need in a plane like pillow yeah actually get my pillow and when I came back I got my blanket I got blanket um, extra socks like that just to make myself warm and because the plane is very cold i feel cold <clears throat> so i got all those stuff and what else did i did oh actually i also got this one so this is very handy when we travel so in case you know so i don't have to get all the medications i mean if i go to the place and i don't have to get everything i can just put it all at once here i mean like for that for that day medication so that's what i did and third this is what i learned no okay sorry it's not the third i'm skipping oh okay it's the third <laughs> um third um my brain is like really re really everywhere eh? but that's very common that's very common for us that has a kidney disease some people are very forgetful some are confused or like some are like it feels like they are floating like that actually I have all those kind of symptoms so in case I'm saying something different I hope you guys can understand why I'm doing that <laughs> anyway so let's go to the third thing the packing so um, for me packing is very exhausting and maybe it's also normal for even for normal people I don't know so for me it's very exhausting so I do it like 
really early, like one week before the flight. So I pack slowly and just leave the luggage open just in case there are things that I need to put more. And I think it's advisable for, you know, like for all people with chronic disease not to get too much. But for us, since we're just going home once in a blue moon, we are carrying a lot of stuff. And I'm with someone, so I think that's fine. But if I'm going alone, I don't think I should be doing that. So that's what I did. I packed slowly. I did take my time. I didn't force myself. And the fourth one, it's like um, in the plane. So this is what I learned from the from for traveling going to Philippines. So before when I travel coming here to Canada, I had a very very bad swelling, and it took me like a week before it go back to it went back to normal. So when I went to Philippines, this is what I did. I tried to walk as much as possible as I can. I like going to the toilet and going back or like going to the toilet and try to stretch my legs. Try just did all the stretching. And then I also tried to empty my bladder whenever I had, you know, like when I have to, I have to empty it. And if ever I had a chance to go stand up, I do, I did it. So that's what I did just try to you know like try just try to you know like listen to your body because it's if you sit there for a long time water retention is really you know like very very common to us so that's what i did and i think it would be nicer if we just book our seats in the houses and it would be easier to just get out whenever we want to and you know sometimes you know sometimes we cannot choose or like sometimes we're just like our travel before, I was in the middle, but luckily, um, you know, luckily I was able to talk to the person next to me that I have to do all this stuff and they were able to understand it. But, you know, there might be people that won't understand it, but I think we should always think of our well-being because if we don't do that, then it would be very bad for ourselves. And, you know, we only live once, so let's take care of ourselves. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I learned. I tried to just, you know, do all the stretching that I needed. And when I arrived and when I arrived to Philippines, I didn't have that bad swelling that I had before. I had a little bit tiny 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 swelling, but it's not it's not as bad as before. So I think it works. Like <clears throat> walking and then all the stretching that I did, it really works. So yeah, I hope you guys can also do the same and not to worry about other people don't worry about what other people say because it's not your body it's your body so let's take care of it <laughs> yeah so that's what i learned and where am i now fifth am i in the fifth one two i don't know maybe the fifth so the fifth tips that i learned is that no fifth tip that i did so when we arrive in the Philippines, we I still have like eight hours to travel to our province. But normally I will just go straight. But then this time I need to have a I need to have a rest. So we went to the hotel, have some like two nights rest, and then just to you know get my energy back. And then when I'm feeling good, then we travel again. Because if I'm gonna push through, I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be very exhausting for me and it won't you know it won't be good for my health so yeah I try to always listen to our body always try to you know make sure that you know we're not pushing too much or else it's gonna be it's gonna cost harm I think and it's not good for us and also I think it would be this is for me personally I think it would be better to travel with someone that's you know like someone to someone to assist you because it's it's I mean the carrying itself is really tough or like sometimes sometimes we become forgot forgetful confused like that and I think we need someone to go with us um, so I think it's really important to travel with someone and also I learned that uh, especially for us that has a very restricted diet i think it's best for us to prepare for snack just in case we don't have the food that's you know uh, that fits our diet because in the plane they can give like you know food that they have they don't have like specific uh like low protein low this low that 
they don't have that so i think it's best to prepare like the like the food that fits our diet so we don't have to be we don't we don't have to eat food that doesn't you know doesn't really good for it's not really good for our body yeah so that's my tip and i'm sorry if my brain is everywhere but i really try to focus it's just a little bit hard for me but i tried <laughs> anyway i am wearing the shirt of mikar um they are doing a fundraising for him for his transplant this year it's 390 pesos and if you want to order a shirt especially in philippines you can just message me and then we can arrange how to bring the shirt to you and thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in my next video bye bye